so lovely to meet you. It well, really is. I, I'm thrilled to meet you. And uh, I have to tell you this story. She's so warm and giving and, and generous. I was at the uh, at Daytime Emmys a year ago when she uh, uh, mastered that great <laughs> Radio City musical. And she, uh, I was there because my daughter was up, uh, nominated for an Emmy. And um, she uh, listed me among a list of very splendid people as an inspiration. And it's And true. I want to thank you here publicly. Well, that. that's very kind of you, but it is, it's very true. You know, as a, as a young kid, to um, watch TV and know that I wanted to do that, to be a funny woman on TV oh. and to see you and, and look at Mary you. and all the you legendary... You've surpassed people. us all. Hardly, hardly. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Yes, poop, because, poop. listen, I saw... I, I saw Sleepless in, in Seattle. Seattle, and I have a vivid memory of coming out of that movie. Who is that woman? She was marvelous. Oh, that's so. I sweet really of you feel to say. that, and that stays with me. And you're now working with that director, Nora yes, Ephron, are you not? Once again, you were in Michael as well. Yes. You yes. played uh, the I, angel I, sort of pseudo money. <laughs> Right. That's right. I feel uh, grateful and privileged to be in Nora Ephron's stable. Yes, <laughs> she does. She has a stable of people that she likes yeah. to use, and yeah. it's, uh, it's and wonderful it's, to work with her. It's called You Have Mail. It's Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, yourself. Yes, yes. It's going to be a wonderful film. I read the script. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, it is charming. Now, I missed you when you were up in Nyack performing oh, Eleanor. Yes, I was so disappointed because I knew you'd... Uh, moved up there. Yeah. Yes, we did Eleanor, A Private Journey, a play with a large cast of one. Oh, really? <laughs> and we did it at the Helen Hayes Center for the Performing, Performing Arts Center. Right, up there. A lovely theater yes. up there, and we, I had a wonderful run there. And you were also in, might I say, my favorite, Funny Girl on Broadway with a certain oh. Miss Barbara Streisand. Oh. Would this be you right oh, over here? Yeah. It would be you. <laughs> That's there right. you are. Yeah. Can I look at that? Yes, you can. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, that's great. And here you are singing. If a girl isn't pretty like a Miss Atlantic City. <laughs> All she gets from life is pity and a pat. You see, I don't remember the lyrics. You don't remember? <laughs> I thought you were going to join in with me. Kindly I would start at the beginning. That's the beginning. Yeah, but you I don't that? remember anything. If a girl isn't pretty. What? Like a Miss Atlantic City. Like a Miss Atlantic City. All she Jesus. gets from life is pity, pity and a past. Yeah. Kindly name a star who hasn't won the contest. La, 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 la. Oh, did she, did she have the cheek and lover gets to bat? There you go. That's you. Wow. Well, Genius. You I don't sing it in the shower. Ever. You don't? <laughs> you know what? I do. <laughs> Every day. Great. <laughs> what was it like working with Barbara Streisand? Oh, Just lovely. a young girl back oh, then, absolutely. her first big show? She was in a snake pit. <laughs> in what and, way? Well, I mean, uh, you know, a musical which had all the troubles that had out of town before it came in. She was marvelous and brave and strong. And uh, we had uh, wonderful revisions uh, in Philadelphia, and she had to accomplish all that. And she was uh, strong and wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, I must tell you, uh, I'm, I'm kind of uh, an old, uh, what is it called, the those who love classical music. Uh, classical long music hair, lover? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, is yeah. there a word? Well, anyway, yeah. uh, uh, that voice, I, I could stand in the wings and listen to her every, every night, night. and it was a pleasure. It's chilling to hear her sing, really. The hair stands on end on your arms when she sings. She's oh, yes. Else. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, when you were doing uh, All in the Family, Edith, which everyone loved so much, uh, yeah. your kids were toddlers, were they not? Yes. yes. Did they find yes. it odd that Mommy was on TV, your children? Oh, uh, no. I, I know when they were very, very small, they toddled up to the uh, TV set, my husband said, and uh, kissed. <laughs> kissed the TV. Kissed the TV, oh. you know. And then, of course, when they got older, there were other shows that appealed to them more. Because that was heady, you know, for a very young kid. Sure, for a little kid. And, uh, but, I mean, it was a natural thing that I was there. And sure. I did it. You know, that's where I went and worked. I suppose that's true for your little guy. Yeah. Too. But anyone he sees performing, he thinks is me. No matter oh, who it is. Uh -huh. Anyone on TV <laughs> singing or on TV. Yeah, Claudia that's Claudia Schiffer, he goes, Mama. I'm like, that's right, honey. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Mama in the bikini. That's Mama. <laughs> now, uh, when you were, re where you read the script for All in the what? Family. 
Yes. Did you think that I was you had stunned. no? Well, I, I, there was, of course, several uh, rewrites, but I was called up to New York, where, and we were living in Pennsylvania because my husband ran the Totem Pole Playhouse in uh, Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. And I went up to s meet Norman Lear. Right. And I read the script in the office, and I was, I said, this is wonderful stuff. Uh, I, I, and amazed that it was, could be on TV. Uh, I thought it was so fresh, and more, uh, uh, more that it was so uh, deliciously funny, and character was a strength. In and it. socially relevant to yes, so many issues yes. of the time. But we had two or three years before we ever got on the air with three sets of young people, Carol oh. and I. Really? Yes, we did uh, two or two, um, yes, two pilots with two different sets, and then along came Rob and Sally, yeah. Rob Reiner and Sally Struthers for the third one, and by that time, uh, we were going on CBS, and, and uh, that was our first show. And what a great show. I'm not kidding. It, and mm -hmm. you know, I just saw Sally Struthers. I played Pictionary with her. Oh, you did? Can I say, Jane, she is the best Pictionary player that has oh, ever lived. Oh, she's so bright. She's so good at that game. She and I, She's we, good at we, any we, game. You we, did? Oh, yes. Wonderful. I'm very competitive with those games. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So if you come over and scrabble, be prepared to fight, OK? That's all I have to say. <laughs> now, tell us about your uh, movie that you have on. Oh, about Chance, Chance of, a of a Lifetime. Well, it's Sagal. a charming, uh, romantic <laughs> comedy. Uh, and uh, it's just John Ritter, whom I have, uh, uh, I've played his mother in at least four plays at the theater I mentioned, Totem Pole Playhouse. And he is, he, you know, uh, being reunited with John was just wonderful. And after his long career in sitcom and, right. and mine. And, he's a very talented and, actor. Oh, he's very fine. He's wonderful in Sling Blade. Sling Blade. Yes, wasn't I didn't even recognize him. Yeah, it's just he was and he's so funny in this, and so dear. But do you they play both his mother are. or Katie Segal's mother? I'm Katie's, Katie's mother. Mom. Yeah, and they're both so so good. It's, we have it's a clip a charming. of you oh. as Katie's mom. Oh, good. Trying to sort of pressure her to get married. Oh yes. Okay, take a look, Jean. Yes. I'm not this type of mom. I want to say. Right okay. Now. <laughs> a disclaimer before you yes. see the clip. <laughs> uh, chance of a lifetime. It's on Sunday night. Take a look, Jean Stapleton. <laughs> it boggles my mind that you are not married. Oh, mom. Mm -hmm. Now don't say, don't say it. If I don't say it, who will? Well, hopefully nobody. I mean, I can't believe that in this day and age, people. Oh would yes, actually you can say that. <laughs> I can understand it. You're still young. Well, not that young, but you're uh, too young to know that a time comes when without companionship, it's all empty. I have friends, Mother. I'm not talking about friends. I'm talking about a family. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you did something with your hair. Give it a rest, Mom. That's Chance of a Lifetime Sunday night, CBS at 9 o'clock. I will tune in and watch as I Thank do you. every single thing you do. It's so thrilling to meet you. It really is. Oh, likewise. And I'd like to just tell everyone <laughs> the mistake I almost made. I was going to say, how's your sister, Maureen? Oh, yes. You are not related to Maureen Stapleton. <laughs> no. no, I admire her so. And if they think that, that's fine, because she's a great actress. And she she's sure won. Is. She's won Oscars and all that. Right. But I <laughs> was going to ask you, thank goodness I brought it up at the production meeting, because they said, they're not related, you idiot. I was That's like, right. Ay! Yeah. I thought we all this stuff. We get that all the time, and I guess she gets it, and we get mail. Uh, For each you other. Know. Yes, occasionally, right. yeah. All right. She's well, so great. She I'm is so great. Glad. I'd love to have her on the show. I understand she doesn't like to travel. Oh, well, she's just upstate, though. Yeah, she maybe we send a car for her, you think? <laughs> yeah, I think right. so. We'll send something. She doesn't like to fly. But and she... a, 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 you know, a, a, one of the service people on a plane once said to me, I understand that you, you hate to fly. I said, no. And I, I thought, oh, she's thinking of Maureen. Right. Yeah, See, I'm not fly. the only one who does it. It's me and the yeah. flight attendants. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Uh, thank you very much for Thank being here, you. Jean. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Guys. We'll be right back.